from the past and the nonsense Tired of toxic ends, not an option Made it up from the mud, I'ma find this What's up guys, welcome back or to the channel If y'all are new here, I'm Thomas Moser, that ain't you I got my boy Nick What is your new account? Snow Snow Bunnies underscore garage Go check him out We went around today with Alex We went up to Bucky's, filmed some trucks Went back um, Alex, you showed me up in Fortnite, you cheese ball. But today was fun. We've just been kicking it. Nick brought his drone. I really need to get a drone. Alex would just pull over to the side of the road, stick his hand out, and go fly, get some dope clips. Nick's got one now. It's the universe telling me something. So we're going to get some clips tonight. Enjoy this little edit, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I figured for this video, we would talk about my top 10 favorite things or 10 things that I love about my Hummer H2. We have a storm brewing in the background. It looks like it's about to just pour on us. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So my number one thing that I love about this truck is that it is based off the 2500 HD Silverado, not a Tahoe. So it came with the 6.0, the LQ4, the V8, the 6L80 transmission, the eight lug axles, the 410 gear ratios, and of course the three quarter ton frame. I feel like if they were based off the Tahoes, if this truck was anything less, it just wouldn't be able to get up like it does. It wouldn't perform or really handle the abuse that some of these trucks really take off-road. So, so in my opinion, GM absolutely killed it basing this off of the three-quarter ton trucks. My second thing, I love that you can fit such a meaty and aggressive tire on these trucks stock. I do have a two-inch leveling kit because I wanted 37, 1350s, but if you run stock suspension, you can easily fit a 35 1250 under here and not have any problems you can get full lock it'll ride just as good and for 2003 being able to run 35 stock i think that's a pretty pretty bold move by gm wow it is really starting to come in i don't think camera's going to do justice so for the third thing i love that this truck came with steel bumpers i just feel like if they were plastic or chrome it just wouldn't fit the look up here they cut it right in front of the tire so you get that you know, first off, you get that approach angle, but it just looks meaty with that whole tire sticking out the way it does. And of course, in the rear, the spare tire is mounted there and the hooks and all of that. I don't know. GM just did that good in my opinion. It's able to hold up a 37, 13, 50 with no issues. I've been rearing it twice. It's held up perfectly, no damage. That's just another thing that I love about this truck. It is getting dark real fast. Look at this cheese ball. What are you doing down here? Oh, it's like, it's brewing. Look at the trees. Look at the trees. I may have to finish this video later. I hope not. Hey, pose up. Be my like, little model for the truck. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I gotta, I gotta blur that. That's a little bit too explicit for YouTube there. One thing that also ties in with the drivetrain and the way that they built this truck and being based off the three quarter ton is this truck is very capable. I've taken it in the sand, in the mud, I've taken it all over. And especially running these Nitto mud grabs, it just performed really well. A lot of people think that this truck is super heavy, super wide. Sure, I can't take it through like super tight trails, but in the sand and mud, it just eats and floats over it. In my opinion, for everything that I've done, and really putting this truck through the paces it has performed and has amazed me every single time the last thing for the exterior then i can finish the interior clips in the truck is that these trucks are super easy to build super easy to work on you can get parts for an affordable price and me personally i work on my own truck i do everything myself so does this little cheese ball over here it's kind of what is this hooligan doing he's got to go back to statesboro today so i'm going to hang out with him in a minute but being able to get parts for cheap, just go up to advanced auto parts, crawl under the truck, and you know, bolt them up. There's a lot of room, it's very accessible. In my opinion, GM did a phenomenal job with that. And just, I mean, user friendly is I think the best way to put it. So let me turn the camera off. I'm gonna get in the truck and I'm gonna film the rest of this video for y'all. So I'm back at the QT that we started out last night with the same boy we were with, wow, I can't talk. 
the same boy we were with last night too. It's nobody's garage. They quit hunting today. Saw a buck, not a whole lot of luck. But I decided we're just gonna film it at QT, finish this video. It's been raining ever since. I put the camera down and since Ben left. So we're gonna jump to the interior and I'll show y'all my top favorite things about the interior of the truck real quick. So my first favorite thing, which y'all made me give me grief for, Nick can maybe back me on a couple of these things, are these seats, bro. I swear, I love these seats. They're not too big, you don't slide around, they hug you just right, and this 18 year old phone is just comfy. I don't know. What do you think of the seats? Are they comfortable to you? Yeah, yeah they're, they're pretty comfortable. They're pretty comfortable? Yeah. <laughs> Better than my truck. The next thing about the interior that I love, there's a couple things, like I said, but I love like the accessories, and it may have to do with the trim package of the truck, and I know a lot of other trucks have this, but I use the absolute hell out of some of these you know, accessories, or what would you call it, just things that are put in the truck. The first thing are the seat heaters. My driver's seat, don't tell anybody. It's not working right now. I had to replace the leather on the bottom and I took the heating pad out because it was a part of the leather, so I had to unplug it. Now the front two don't work, but once I replace the uh, heating pad, everything will work again. But this truck came with front and rear heat, seater, heat seaters and the uh, backrest on the front two seats also heats up, which is kind of nice. Came with the sunroof. As y'all can see right there. And Nick and I were flying the drone out of the sunroof last night. Nick would set it on the roof and fly it up. And then he would bring it down and we would catch it. Alex, we may or may not have gotten that from you. But it works. I just love... I'm, I'm trying to think of what else I could talk about on the interior. Besides the other thing. I don't know what other accessories there really are. I think one thing, which I'm going to make this a separate thing, is the sound system. This came with Bose speakers. And to be honest with you, these are original speakers that are in all the doors and the tweeters. Nick's a sound guy. I'm not huge on like, I don't need the, all the bass in the world. I don't need a lot of speakers in the world. Like I understand why people do it. Is it, To be honest, it's really cool. But I like to just be able to turn my volume up and not have any static. Just have crystal clear music. So all I added to the sound system was a double den Kenwood head unit and then a 12 inch JL subwoofer with a porta box. What amp did I buy off of you? It's that dual amp. Is it like 500 watt? 800? Something it, like that. It's, it's like an 800 watt amp. Nothing crazy. Something like that. Um, but it works for one. Nick and I and our other buddy tuned it just right. So, I mean, you can turn it up. It sounds good. It's not too much bass. There's no static. It's crystal clear. So, honestly, the speakers in this truck are top tier. And I guess for the last and final thing, the tenth thing that I love about the truck, let me hop in and I'll give you all little pov real quick i know it may be kind of dark in here so just bear with me for a minute i don't know how you feel about this i love the layout of the truck have you ever driven a vehicle in it where you feel like you have to reach to adjust something or it's just like a weird spot you know what i mean yeah. or it's just uncomfortable yeah. like i feel like in this truck and maybe it's because i'm used to it maybe it's because i've you know owned this truck for four and a half years but I feel like everything's just easy to get to. So here's, you know, a little POV of what it looks like when I'm driving. I know it's dark in here. Actually, does this help out a little bit? But like, for instance, the four-wheel drive buttons. I can just, you know, reach over, put it in four-wheel drive. It's super easy. The radio is right here. All the AC control, of course, traction control, tow haul mode, all that fun stuff. You know, blinkers, all the stuff. I don't know. I just feel like it's super close. It's a big thing for me. Same with the seats. I'm a big comfort guy. I don't want to drive a truck or a car that I'm just, you know, not comfortable in. If it's, if I'm comfortable, it's it's right. That's a big make it or break it for me. So that's the 10th and final thing. Let me hop out real quick. All right, guys, so in between me filming this video, I got a couple texts, a couple phone calls. We're working on some YouTube collabs with y'all. Um, Chase in Alabama, I'm not gonna say his um, Instagram or YouTube name. Y'all just have to wait for that. Um, we've been working with some guys from the studio, trying to plan out some videos. Um, me and Alex have really been trying to wrap our minds around like what we can do to really entertain y'all. Alex does his own thing with the trucks and Southern Tire, but we're talking about on the weekends or when Alex and I are together and just filming, you know, with whatever we have going on. And yesterday we went up to Bucky's. Alex's video dropped tonight. We just, I just watched it. Have you watched it yet? I haven't had a chance. I was hungry. It's pretty good. We went up to Bucky's. We ran into a couple guys. Uh, took the drone up there. Got to hang out. It, it was fun. It was a vibe. I had a really 
um, good time filming with him. And that's how it always should be. But on the way up there, he told me, he was like, yo, Thomas, why don't you pick up your camera and film? And I was trying to explain to him, I was like, dude, one day when we're together, like yesterday, Saturday, I was like, if we're together, we'll just film for, you know, your channel or my channel. And since you already have a beginning to the video that you had already filmed Saturday morning at Southern Tire, let's film for your channel. You already got the drone with you. You already have your equipment, you're driving. And I said this because, and then of course, like say we were to film today, which we didn't because of the rain. We're gonna go film. I'm not gonna tell y'all, but we do have a couple videos in store for y'all. We're gonna go out and film a video for my channel. And the reason I say this is because there's a couple YouTubers I watch, like uh, Street Speed 717 and his brother-in-law. They go out and they're both filming the same video with the same content. And personally, I don't go watch both videos because it's the same thing. I know what's gonna happen. I know what they do in the video. So y'all would rather see me and Alex both filming like what we did yesterday? Or would y'all rather see us both film one video for his channel and then one video for my channel? Just let me know, just an idea. Um, we are gonna start a Twitch stream. If y'all wanna stay tuned to that, we're gonna be running up the Fortnite. We are throwing this idea around um, yesterday, we think it's just a fun way for y'all to tune in, listen to conversations, um, and just see, yeah, we really are just a couple of cheese balls, as Alex has been calling us. But I'll give y'all the um, information on that on a later date. I'll keep y'all posted on everything going on. Like I said, I got a couple collabs working on behind the scenes right now. I've got a few things for the truck. I've told y'all before, we got the Texas Speed Stage Shoot Cam. Nick's been killing it with the drone. I really need one. I keep saying it. They're just expensive. I just can't wrap my mind around spending that much money right now. Especially because I still need to do the cam and go get the truck dyno tuned. But all of that will be for the next couple of videos. But I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. From a sip, turn into a big ball. Now she see me getting rich because I'm about to take off. Yeah, my life is like a movie. This is only take one. Hey, and I ain't got no time for no one with fake love. Where the love go? I don't know, but I need something that's for real.